I'm back again. This is where we are continuing the story of Benjamin's box and the resurrection eggs. We have the donkey, reminds us of when Jesus entered into Jerusalem on a young donkey. The coins remind us of when Judas betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. The cup reminds us of the Last Supper, the last meal that Jesus shared with his disciples. And the praying hands remind us of when Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. So today we are going to do the leather strip. Benjamin, did you hear the news? asked Eli the next morning. They've locked Jesus up. Everyone says that Judas Iscariot got a bunch of money to betray him. Benjamin gasped. He had told Judas about the bribe. Maybe this was his fault. He said goodbye to Eli and wandered through the city. What could he do? Was there any way to help? Sounds of shouting made him stop, and he turned to see an angry crowd. Jesus deserved that beating, snarled an old man. That heretic claimed to be God's son. He should be stoned, yelled another, shaking a fist. What's going on, asked Benjamin. Did they hurt Jesus? What do you know about this Jesus, demanded the old man. They all turned and stared at Benjamin with angry eyes. N -n Nothing, he stammered. His gaze dropped to the ground, where he noticed a small strip of leather. He picked it up. It was from the whips used by soldiers. It was wet with blood. He tucked it in his tunic and slipped away. Why would anyone beat Jesus? You can see the angry people there. So here is five. You're going to color the piece of the leather with and glue it on and cut out the egg. The leather reminds us of when Jesus was struck by the soldiers. The next one is called the thorn. Benjamin continued to walk. If only he could make them release Jesus. But what could a small boy do? He heard loud cries as another crowd gathered at the end of the street. Hail, King of the Jews, yelled a soldier as Benjamin pushed his way past men and women. And there stood Jesus. Benjamin looked into Jesus' eyes as Roman soldiers threw a shabby robe over his beaten back. He expected to see hatred, but instead saw only love. Just then a soldier shoved a crown of thorns on Jesus's head and another struck him with a stick. Benjamin's eyes filled with tears. Why were they doing this? A few days ago, Everyone had called Jesus a king when he entered Jerusalem. Now it seemed they all hated him. Benjamin squatted down and buried his head in his hands. Please, God, he prayed over and over. Please make them stop. When he finally opened his eyes, the crowd had moved along. Jesus was gone. He walked over to where they had scorned his friend and picked up a sharp thorn broken from that awful crown. He ran home. His parents paused to hear his story, then sadly shook their heads and returned to their work. Benjamin placed the thorn and leather strip in his box and cried. You can color the thorns up on the crown, okay? And it says, the crown of thorns reminds us of when the soldiers mocked Jesus 
and placed a painful crown of thorns on his head. And here, here are the eggs that I was telling you about, the resurrection egg. And here is the leather whip. And here is the crown of thorns. When you are finished with all 12 eggs, you'll have the whole story of the resurrection and you can share them with your family. So remember, this is the story of the resurrection egg, eggs, and it's called Benjamin's Box. We'll continue the story tomorrow. That's the last time you'll see me today. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow.